how my loves welcome back to the stars cartel channel if you don't know i'm star i'm here with a dream in his dream i saw a woman who was thinking about children and she was thinking about children marrying like she was thinking about her children um being married and then she was thinking about them making children of their own and she you know she was just thinking about this and then I heard someone screaming in the background, I'm all alone now. What is it like having a nap by taking them up out of here? Which I'm still confused about what that means. The scripture comes from 1 Timothy 2 and 1. I exhort then, first of all, there be made supplications, prayers, intercessions, thanksgiving for all men, for all kings, and all who are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all piety and gravity. For this is right and acceptable before God our Savior. God says these. this is the way of things, okay? There is a natural order to things, and it is natural, and it makes sense. For a child, so they're going to be a baby, they're going to get te uh, to, you know, the kid stage, teen stage, then they're going to be an adult, they will eventually get married, they will move out, they will have their own children, and the cycle continues. And it does, you know, see, in some, in some places, the children don't move out. And the parents don't have to go through this moment of feeling alone and feeling sad and feeling like, what are they going to do now? Because the children stay home. And then in some places, the children move out. Now, you know, in America, it ain't got to such an extent that, you know what I'm saying? Children move out. And then the children have their own lives. They have their own things going on. And if somebody, you know, if one of the children are able to, They'll move back home to take care of their parents and if they need it or when they need it. And, for you know, for some, some it's a situation where they can't move back home. They don't have time for that. They're not going to do that. Some of uh, the parents come and stay with the kids. Sometimes the parents end up in a nursing home. And um, that's just what it is. And I just feel like this is someone that is constantly wondering what's going to happen. And I just feel like, you know, if you treat your kids well with love and kindness, they're not going to, they, they're going to make sure you good. But you know what I'm saying? Some of these parents be wild. Okay. It's several videos of mother sleeping with their daughter boyfriends. And you know what I'm saying? As people in the comments be saying for the win, every time she gonna she gonna be so confused when she end up in the nursing home all alone. I mean, it, it's it's you know what I'm saying mothers uh, and fathers going on there putting their kids on blast for doing this, that, and the third. See, before we had social media, the parent would just punish the child however they fit see fit, regardless if it's a whooping or punishment, and that was that. But now these parents want to go viral, and they want attention, and they want people to tell them that they're doing the right thing. So they are literally um, posting this online for the world to see. And 9 out of 10, this video ain't going to go nowhere, even if they do delete it, because so many people that reposted it, then saved it, and all this kind of stuff. And this is public humiliation for the rest of the child's life. Even when they become an adult, and they don't behave the way they behave when they were a teenager. They will be haunted by that video forever. And the point that, the fact that these are grown people, grown, grown, bullying their own kids is absolutely astonishing. And these same people, when these kids grow up and they, they go about their business and they start getting older and they need somebody to take care of them. They, 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 even if they have a piece of them that want to take care of their parent, that video is still haunting them. I don't know what's going on. It's like we got a, a generation of narcissists. As, as, you know what I'm saying, parents, right now, what's going on? Why would you want to put your own child on blast? 
It used to be a time where stuff like that would stay in the family. It used to be a time like that when stuff like that didn't go on for everybody to know. But we live in a time now where everybody wants attention. And all attention is not good attention. We are not all celebrities. So it's not a situation where anything is better than nothing. And you know, some people really think that they be looking good when they putting their kids on blast. And it's like, you raised them. That's your child. If they doing anything that is out of line and out of order, where you think they got it from? What did you teach them then? That's just like the teachers, even teachers in school, they get evaluated for how the how well they are uh, teaching the children and how it is reciprocated. So what kind of parent thinks that it makes sense? To, to go and blast your child. Oh, well, you wasn't cooking for him. Oh, well, you wasn't doing this and you wasn't doing that. Who, who, who dropped the ball there? Wasn't you supposed to teach your child how to cook? Huh? Wasn't you supposed to teach your child how to clean? Wasn't you supposed to teach your child these things? God said somebody, hygiene. Your parents supposed to teach you how to clean yourself. So if you drop the ball, if a parent drops the ball and the child is showing symptoms of the parent dropping the ball, they like them going around trying to say, I will, uh, this happened and trying to put them on blast. Baby, you walking around basically letting everybody know that you did it. You got an L. You failed as a parent. That was your job. And that's just real. If your child that is now an adult, they not all the way there. They having problems because of this, that, and the third. They got an attitude problem or they mean because of this or this, that, and the third is going on. You drop the ball there. They socially awkward or they, they not able to, you know what I'm saying, build relationships. They keep on dropping the ball. Every marriage is failed. Every time they get in a relationship, it don't work out. What, what were you teaching them? That was your job. As soon as you have a baby, you accept the, the responsibility to take care for, of the baby. So if you have not taught the baby the proper things they need to know in order to be a successful adult, that's your fault. And that's just real. I ain't trying to hurt nobody feelings. I ain't trying to make nobody feel no kind of way. <clears throat> I'm just being real. And you know what I'm saying? If you are successful as a parent, you will see your kids get married. You will see them have kids. You will see your grandchildren. You, it's not a situation where you're just going to be alone because they're going to visit you all the time because they want to be around you because you are a loving parent. Nobody avoids a loving parent. People avoid parents that were toxic. People avoid parents that were mean. People avoid parents that were always uh, talking down on them or gossiping about them, being mean to them. They avoid them, but they don't avoid the parent that was always giving them love. And I would just be real. As somebody that used to work in a nursing home, I can tell which patients they that treated their kids with love and kindness and which ones was mean. Which ones, hey, their kids didn't like them very much. Which ones, their kids, they treated their kids some kind of way. They were harsh to their children because guess what? Their children didn't visit them. And the ones that they mama, baby, they, it's not a situation where they stayed too far because they made sure their mama was at the nursing home right by them if they can't take care of her. If she to an extent they can't take care of her, she right up the road and they come in to see her. Regardless if it's every weekend that they can, or whichever day some of them came up there every day. So I had somebody, her son, come and take her to get her hair done, take her to church, take her out to eat every single week. Had a patient whose wife was up there early, 6 a.m. sharp, every morning except Sunday when she went to church. But as soon as church was out, she was there. 
So, you know what I'm saying? You, I just feel like this message is you got to be careful with how you treat those that, that are around you, especially those that you love, especially when it comes to your children, your spouse, whoever this person, because you never know. Man, it's not good for man to be alone. God knows this. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying? You can't push people away and then sit around and wonder why you don't have nobody. Why nobody visiting you? Why you don't this and why you don't that? And that's just what it is. Anywho, and you know, I, I feel like this may be for some of these parents. They, a lot of these kids going, going, uh, no contact. They don't call. They don't text. They don't nothing. Moving far away, as far away as they possibly can because they sick of it. And you know what I'm saying? God told me when I make that other video that this video connected. So if it's a parent doing some crazy stuff like that, stealing all their kids' friends, trying to take their man, trying to live their life and trying to do this, that, and the third, baby, because the time is going to come. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being real. It's not a situation where we, nobody is indestructible. Nobody is going to live forever. 11, 11, as I said that. So you got to be careful. You know what I'm saying? It don't, don't, be, it don't be in the kind of position to where, you know what I'm saying, you being mean to somebody that love you. Because children love their parents with unconditional love. But when a parent is constantly abusing them, being mean and nasty to them, could you imagine having somebody that's supposed to take care of you, that's supposed to love you unconditionally, be a mean girl to you? Trying to take your friends, trying to take your man, trying to, like, literally fighting with you, competing with you. That's a nightmare. And then the same person, when they can't take care of themselves, looking for you to take, like, what? I don't even understand that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You compete with people that's in your same age, like, your age range. I, that makes sense. Okay, I don't even understand some of these men that be competing with their wives. Because that's another group of people that be needing somebody to take care of them. And they done been beating on the wife, cheating on the wife, running the streets and acting a complete fool. And then when it come down to it, they looking for their wife to do this, that, and the third. Baby, like I said, I could tell who treated his wife right. Because his wife was there at 6 a.m. sharp every morning. Making sure his food was cooked right. Making sure he was dressed right. Making sure he had adequate care. And the only reason he was there is because she couldn't take care of him no more. Baby, you got to be careful how you treat those that love you. You got to be careful how you treat those that you're supposed to treat with love and kindness. You know what I'm saying? And like, you know what I'm saying? Some men, they feel like it's just too much for them to take their wife out. And it's just too much to buy her flowers just because. And it's just too much to take her here, there, and do. Some of these parents be treating their kids like they don't care. And they don't matter. And they wish they never had them. Forgetting that God said children are a blessing. Pushing the kids to the side because they got a new girlfriend. They got a new boyfriend. They pushing their kids to the side. They, they want to be with the boyfriend. I want to be with the girlfriend. Baby, got to be more careful. Anyways, that's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.